Everybody would dream of breaking a world record, becoming famous, and being recognized by the whole world as the holder of a particular title. While in some cases, records seem to come straight from the overflowing imagination of AZ series filmmaker, other awards reward extraordinary skills, and that's what this video is all about. You'll see a young Japanese boy who can stick cans to his skin, LL Layaram Sakar who can make a Rubik's Cube underwater and without breathing apparatus, or the Frenchman Alain Robert climbing the highest roofs in the world with his bare hands and without assistance. Make yourself comfortable, because the 10 world records you'll see today are sure to give you goosebumps. Let's go for a good dose of adrenaline. Look at this man. If you think he's crazy, I'll tell you that he's not, on the contrary, he's got a good head on his shoulders. In any case, he has every interest because it is thanks to it that he was able to win a record that is not so ordinary. His name is Mohammad Rashid Nassim and he has a very hard head. And that's not just a figure of speech. This Pakistani in his 30s manages to break a completely absurd but incredible world record. With his forehead, this man managed to crack 247 nuts in a row. In this sequence, Muhammad is performing a smashing performance at an event at a Karachi high school. At the opening of the performance, the man throws himself like a raging bull at the two lines of nuts under his nose and bursts mercilessly with a ball. The performance is not timed, but Muhammad is instructed to stop when he can't take it anymore or when he misses a nut. And Muhammad is very tenacious because as soon as he catches his breath, he immediately resumes the slaughter. To achieve such a feat, the young man had to do a colossal amount of work on himself beforehand. In addition to intense training, he learned how to control pain and keep the motivation necessary to surpass himself. The Pakistani, who intends to break other records, has set himself the goal of holding 50 titles in all. A great martial arts enthusiast, the modern-day nutcracker, already holds the record for the greatest number of coconuts smashed, watermelons exploded, and cans uncapped in one minute. So, when he says he's going to break everything, he really does it. Muhammad also holds the record for the most cans crushed with his elbow for a change. You can tell me what's the point of doing all this? I have no idea. In any case, if it seems like a real puzzle to you, for him it's not at all. Speaking of cans. If there's one who doesn't lack air, it's Shunichi Kano, since her specialty is precisely to make cans stick to her skin thanks to air suction. Sounds absurd to you? So, do we. This young Japanese man is the proud holder of the record for the highest number of cans placed on his head by air suction. When he manages to place all the cans on his face, Shunichi then tries to pour them into glasses without putting a drop on the floor. Shunichi discovered this incredible talent when he was still in college. Everyone thought at the time that he had a big forehead and that he needed to take advantage of this physical feature. In the early days, he could only glue one can in this way, but now he can glue several cans without any problem. He didn't think that this gift from heaven could help him win a world title until he came across the video of Jamie Keaton, the former world record holder. It then took him six months of intensive practice to overcome his new rival. Today, Shunichi is hoping to attempt another Guinness World Records title, the one with the most cans placed on his body using the same suction technique. It's obviously an activity that sticks to him. And by the way, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss out on any of our upcoming content. Let's continue. We've all played at least once with a Rubik's Cube, right? Some find it fun, some find it complicated, and some find it boring and not very exciting. A bit like LL Layaram Sakar, this young Indian living in Chennai, India, has come up with a new way to play the most popular game of the century, combining physical stamina and mental skills. And the result is breathtaking. Indeed, Ilayaram took up the challenge to solve the Rubik's underwater, and in apnea, he managed to solve six Rubik's in record time, two minutes and 17 seconds without interruption in each puzzle. This allowed him to break the previous record of five cubes, which earned him the new Guinness Book of Records title for Rubik's Cube Solved Underwater. The challenge was carried out inside a transparent watertight basin that allowed the filming equipment to capture every movement the young man made. Sitting in the yoga position, Ilayaram amazed everyone present at the time. This special meditation posture, called pranayama, allows, according to him, to spend long periods underwater. The funny part of the story is that Ilayaram confided that he never learned to swim. The man who started practicing this unusual discipline in 2013 during his university years, is aiming even further. 
he plans to surpass the Rubik's Cube record solved on a unicycle, as well as the Rubik's Cube record solved with one hand. When I think that I can't solve it even with two hands, slumped on my couch and with the solution in front of me. It would seem that the term, masochist, fits Ghulam Farooq's profile perfectly. This Pakistani fakir is capable of inflicting unbearable weights and extreme suffering on his body. To sum up, he is capable of pulling a whole minivan with the strength of his jaws, bending iron bars with his teeth, attaching himself to a running motorcycle with a necklace of barbed wire around his neck, being rolled over it by a car, lifting four kilograms bricks with his eyelids or standing on a carpet of sharp nails, a daily routine that is not lacking in spice in short. This father of four children practices what he calls, his job, in the street in front of amazed passersby, hoping one day to be spotted and become famous. He learned how to do this in the company of a great name in this discipline, Ostad Sher Jan Balak. His body has the incredible ability to withstand any challenge. The Pakistani would like to enter the Guinness Book of Records and trains, hard, to do so. This Indian holds the record for the highest number of broken coconuts, and beware, blindfolded. On the tray, he was served a man lying down surrounded by coconuts, which the Indian had to break with a huge hammer, blindfolded. Not sure that it was very useful, in any case, he was able to take up the challenge, with his eyes closed. Here is a remake of the movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this time with a fruitier note. This man took up the challenge of cutting apples with a running chainsaw, blindfolded, and with the fruit in question placed between his teeth. I think there are other ways to enjoy food. The man you see there is from Switzerland, and what he is doing is extremely dangerous. In this sequence, he is about to jump without a safety net from the top of the Del Salto Maggia waterfall, at a height of 58.8 meters, a little higher than the Tower of Pisa. And he took up the challenge with flying colors. Check out these amazing images. Would you do it? This boxer is formidable, he managed to knock out his opponent in only one second. This is the shortest confrontation recorded in history. There you go, one lightning fast move and you're on your way. Next one. Here's a sequence that will make you fly. You have in front of you 164 skydivers from all over the world, who broke the record for the largest figure in freefall in Illinois, Chicago, USA. They took off in seven planes and flew six kilometers above the ground, reaching a speed of 380 kilometers per hour surrounded by four cameramen to immortalize the jump from all angles. Thus, the skydivers created a flower-shaped figure in the sky, which they managed to maintain for several seconds. It took the group a total of 13 attempts to beat the previous freefall record, which dates back to 2012. Defying emptiness, speed, collisions, and even death, the skydivers did not shy away. If you're the type of person who fears heights, this sequence will literally paralyze you. Nicholas Nick Walenda is an American acrobat and tightrope walker by profession. He is also known for his high aerobatic performances without a safety net, performances that have been widely filmed and broadcast around the world. He currently holds nine world records for various feats, and the least we can say is that he always stands on a tightrope. Beware you risk to pitch. A perilous crossing on a rope stretched more than 40 meters from the ground over a distance of 76 meters, then on a bike whose handlebars have been removed. A crossing between the two towers of the Condado Plaza in San Juan, a spectacular suspension on a trapeze linked to a helicopter at 76 meters high in Missouri, during which he is held by only one arm, then by the legs, then by the teeth only, shall we continue? There is also this magnificent performance in Niagara Falls, where he became the first man to walk 550 meters on a tightrope stretched between the two banks. And let's not forget the day he walked over the gorge of the Little Colorado River, east of the Grand Canyon, all without the safety of course. Throughout his career, Nicholas has been near death several times and has been confronted with unforeseen events in the worst moments. Unforeseen events mainly caused by the weather. At the same time, everything seems to indicate that he's looking for it a little bit, weather girl. And as if that wasn't phenomenal enough, in 2014, Nick Walenda set a new record, this time attacking three Chicago skyscrapers, one of which was over 200 meters high. The tightrope walker, who loves extra strong sensations, even completed one of his routes blindfolded and still without any safety. 
Nick first covered a 138-meter rope over the Chicago River between the Marina West Tower and the Leo Burnett Building in 6 minutes and 50 seconds, with a slight 15-degree slope to make things even more difficult, then he took the second section, between two towers in the Marina City District, for 29 meters. The event was broadcast live and worldwide via Discovery Channel, with an estimated audience of 6.72 million people. It's a bit dizzying, don't you think? Let's come back down to Earth. Ah, no, all in all, let's stay a little longer perched in the stars, as Alain Robert does so well. This 58-year-old Frenchman has been renamed by the American press the French Spider-Man, and for good reason. Alain is a high-level climber, specialized in solo rock climbing without a rope and then in building climbing, yes it exists, the proof is in pictures. For several years now, Alain has been climbing with his bare hands and without assistance the highest roofs in the world. Tour Montparnasse, One Canada Square, the Empire State Building, the New York Times Building, Two International Finance Center, Esthita Gestures, the Adia Tower, Petronas Twin Towers or Burj Khalifa, and the list goes on and on. In all, he will have climbed more than 80 towers and skyscrapers. So how do you like these 10 world records? Did they give you goosebumps? Which one impressed you the most? Tell us what you think in the comments.